students, a hearty welcome to this chemistry session. Today, I am here with one of the most important topics of metallurgy, leaching of alumina from bauxite ore. Well, I would like to explain this whole process of leaching of alumina with three simple steps, which I am quite sure that you will understand and recollect more easily. Then, coming to the topic, leaching of alumina. Its alumina is Al2O3 from bauxite ore. This leaching process is one of the concentration methods. And this concentration method is known as chemical concentration method. And why it is known as chemical concentration method? Because all other concentration methods are using physical methods. Why? In leaching of alumina, a chemical reagent, a suitable chemical reagent is used for the concentration of ore. So it is known as chemical concentration method of ore. And then this leaching of alumina is based on the principle of solubility difference between ore and gang particles. That is, when the powdered ore is treated with a suitable chemical reagent, that chemical reagent specifically dissolves the powdered ore alone, but the impurities will remain insoluble. So, the basic principle behind leaching of alumina is the solubility difference between the ore and the gang particles. Now, coming to the leaching process, as you know, bauxite is the principal ore of aluminium and this bauxite contains Al2O3, SiO2, Fe2O3 and TiO2 where Al2O3 is alumina, SiO2 is sand, Fe2O3 is iron oxide and TiO2 is titanium oxide and here you know since the alumina is the one that we are going to con get concentrated, all the rest are coming under the category of gang or impurities. So, when moving to the discussion about the steps involved, step 1 digestion of powdered or in concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. In chemistry, Digestion means slow and steady heating of a substance. So, this alumina is, uh, this powdered ore is digested in concentrated sodium hydroxide solution or caustic soda solution. During the process of digestion, alumina getting dissolved or getting into, getting dissolved into the solution where the rest of the impurity is remaining insoluble according to the principle. So, after dissolution or after getting digested into sodium hydroxide solution, it forms a soluble complex which is known as sodium aluminate and this is the chemical formula of the same. NaAlOH four times that is known as sodium aluminate. And this formed sodium aluminate is basic in nature that you can understand by seeing there is a hydroxide group present in that. So, this basic sodium hydroxide, basic sodium aluminium hydroxide should be neutralized. So, next step that is the second step is neutralization of sodium aluminate with carbon dioxide. Here, this since Sodium aluminium hydroxide is basic in nature. We treat it with an acidic substance that is carbon dioxide and that neutralizes and forms a new product that is aluminium oxide trihydrate. So, this aluminium oxide trihydrate. Now, the third step is heating of Al2O3, 3H2O to get Al2O3 that is alumina. Why we have to heat it? Because we need alumina that is Al2O3 and it is having this Al2O3 is 
is having water of crystallization with it. Three molecules of water of crystallization. That should be removed. And you know that water can be removed by heating it. Because when water is heated above 100 degrees Celsius, it gets evaporated and forms steam. So here also we do the same. Al2O3, 3H2O is heated at 1470 Kelvin to get pure alumina and the water will be evaporated. Okay. This is the end of our session today. See you again. Thank you.